man, you're not gonna believe this. Man, after 15 years on the job, man, they let me go, terminated. And the reason why will shock you. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man i'm a little i'm gonna play a little clip to let you know how real this stuff is gonna get and i've been warning you on this channel for a minute roll that clip hey guys this is a bit scary no wonder elon musk gave this video an exclamation mark this is footage from a coffee shop using AI to monitor its employees. The blue text with white letters indicates each employee, and the number shows how many cups of coffee they've made. You can see that an employee named Anna is working diligently, making a total of 20 cups. Meanwhile, Olga is hiding in the corner, slacking off, and has only made three cups. All of this is tracked by the AI, which then reports the findings to the boss. In Amazon warehouses, similar technology is used to monitor employees. They even allow AI to generate termination notices for workers with low productivity. But it doesn't stop there. Before long, everything around us, from cars to ships to our daily lives, could fall under AI surveillance. Everything will be tracked, monitored, calculated, and analyzed. If you're wondering what AI is really capable of, well, this is your answer. All right, so you saw the impact that AI is going to have on some of these uh, entry-level, low-wage jobs. And I want you to keep in mind that they are marketing this to all businesses and corporations and the key is increasing profit margins by increasing profitability. You know, Target is already using uh, this in their loss prevention uh, of tracking, um, you know, personnel that have stolen above the threshold. So they will let you, Target will let you come in there and steal, you know, ask you for your ID once, let you go and you think nothing of it, but they have tracked you in the system and that time that you come in and they have calculated how much you have stolen above the felony level, that's when they'll call the authorities. But in this case, man, you saw how that AI was tracking the productivity of workers. Man, there's an old saying out there, you got to work the job, don't let the job work you. Those days are few and far in between if your job has cameras around it. You heard that they're using them uh, at Amazon facilities. And when you think about this, you know, your employees that like to go in the bathroom and hide out and use the phone, even in the military, in the army, we have a problem with soldiers just hiding in the bathroom, on the phone, uh, you know, sitting in there. Man, they are tracking this stuff to a T. Even if your job does not allow you to punch in a time clock and punch out, they still can track you because you're pretty much facial recognition in this AI is tracking, okay, this day you were late by such and such minute. It's no longer trying to avoid the supervisor or the manager or the foreman. No, 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 that's not the game. You know, now it's, you know, if there's a camera around and this is a place of business, they are tracking you. And you saw they were in a coffee shop. There is already... Uh, fully automated uh, AI, gener AI generated or driven uh, restaurants in California. And this stuff is going to spread like wildfire. See, people look at Chick-fil-A and say, man, I couldn't work there. But Chick-fil-A ha ha has become a standard of the type of customer service and productivity. And you look at some of these other chains that especially after COVID, uh, customer service went down the drain. You go there when they open uh, these fast food chains and it seems like people just don't want to work. Well, uh, AI is going to nip that in the bud when they start 
generating these termination letters because your productivity is too low. You know, these businesses have it in their rule book how much in their guidelines, how long it should take to do certain tasks. And you have uh, exceeded the, 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 the maximum time and the minimum time to do things by two or three X sometimes. And they're not gonna have any problems with letting you go. I've been telling people for a long time, you know, this is why I have the business playlist on my channel. You know, this is why you want to inspire to do something on your own that is 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 uh, apart from all of this AI technology. And a lot of this technology that people were pro AI don't realize this is the this is the same technology that's gonna make you out of a job. Don't be surprised if this year, in the coming year, you're getting phone calls from people because they got laid off after 10, 15 years, like I initially said in the intro. You know, I don't know why they let me go. And they're gonna have the, uh, this AI is gonna produce the analytics. It's gonna produce the analytics behind your poor work ethic and how they could get somebody else in there to do it a little bit better. If not, get a machine to do it. You know, you don't have to worry about firing uh, machinery that's AI driven. You don't have to worry about being threatened once you terminate somebody uh, if everything is AI driven and machine driven. You know, if you are an employee and you are sandbagging the job, man, your days are numbered. If they got cameras around, your days are numbered. You sandbagging the job, you know, uh, job the job being more of a, a, a casual uh you know, place of fellowship instead of work, man, these folks are about to let you go. They are about to let you go and replace you with new technology. And there's 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 nothing, nothing you can do about it if you consistently choose to stay in these places. You're gonna, some of these jobs, you will be shocked that they are in the brinks of figuring out and refining the technology to replace you. And it's not, People are gonna take this personal when it happens, but it's just business. I'm telling you, a lot of these politicians, they are not creating jobs. What they're doing is investing in the technology that's gonna take your job. That's what they're doing. Using their, uh, using their access to certain information to be able to get a leg up and to know who is gonna do what and, and who's gonna have the larger shares of the market. They're telling you that they're creating jobs. Secretly, they're investing in technology to make sure that you don't have a job. I've been telling you for a long time, set a business up for yourself. Set a business up for yourself. The days where somebody, you just got somebody, uh, you know, in Walmart, they used to have the old people that used to check receipts. Back in the day, you come in, they would give kids stickers. You know, that, that, that stuff is gonna be few and far in between. You might see that in a mom and pop store, but uh, Sam's Club is already in, uh, you're already implemented these scanners that can analyze everything in your cart and based upon what you actually paid for at the register and see did you actually ring everything up. This stuff is going to be uh, hands free, and people are going to be caught off guard. And I've just been trying to warn you. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.